What's up guys? Eagle Hernandez here. Let's talk trap. Today I want to talk about the importance of narrowing down the scope of the answers for deposition testimony for trial purposes. If you're in a jurisdiction like mine, I'm in Florida, if you're in a jurisdiction like Florida, you get depositions in criminal cases and you get depositions in civil cases and it's pretty fucking awesome, right? So it's awesome because you get to find out what they're going to say, but also it's awesome because you get to lay the groundwork for an effective cross-examination of the other side's witnesses when you take your depositions. But it's important, it's critical that we don't waste that opportunity by not getting really short answers to very specific deposition questions. So sometimes you ask a question, it was the light green, let's say, and the witness gives a two or three or four line response to your question, which basically goes on for half a page. And in there somewhere, the answer is yes, the light was green. The problem is, if you leave it like that, when you ask in trial the light was green and the witness says something other than that, your ability to impeach your witness with that transcript becomes, or not becomes, but is severely limited. Because number one, a lot of judges will not let you impeach when it's like three or four or five lines deep before you even get to what you're trying to get. And number two, even if they let you impeach, you're reading off a whole paragraph and somewhere in there the impeachment is buried so the jury is likely not to really catch that. So if you can do it at all, it's going to require extensive cross-examination skills that, that there's no, no need for that. You know, there's no need for that because you clean that up in deposition. So you ask, was the light green? The witness gives you, you know, 18 fucking paragraphs. By the time the witness is done, you say, so is, is that a yes that the light was green? And then if they do it again, you do it again. It's a deposition. There's no ask and answer. You can be there all day. And some witnesses are difficult and they try to keep you there all day. That's okay. You ask the same question 18 times or 19 times until they get tired. You're not getting tired because you have a client to represent and you have things to do to further that cause. They're going to get tired because at the end of the day, they will realize that they can't really get away with BSing for nine, 10 sentences before giving an answer. Obviously, when you go into deposition, when you prepare for it, you should keep an eye out for the things that are critical, the things that you would like to be able to really narrow down on cross-examination if you were in trial, and make sure you ask that question. You have different ways of asking that question so that you get the witness to basically admit to the things that you need without running on for eight, nine, 10 sentences. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. I'll catch you again next time. Hit that notification bell, that subscribe button, and uh, you can catch the videos when they come out. Take it easy.